Hey everyone, we're doing a subjective noise test today. So in our review, which is already live, of the RX 480, there is coverage of the noise output of this blower fan compared against other fans. We've got the decibel readings there, but it doesn't always really help to just look at decibel numbers. So I want to do this separate video. We'll install this thing, and the plan is to demonstrate just how loud 100% is when you have the fan at 100% speed, which you should basically never have it there, and uh, and how generally reasonable the auto and 50% settings are, which are more or less the same. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by Origin PC and their new Origin Chrono small form factor PC, which is customizable, upgradable, and now shipping with the RX 480 for high-end home theater and VR gaming. So there's the RX 480 installed in the bench single six pin power. And now we're going to use the AMD driver software called Wattman to manage the fan speed settings. Nice. Okay, so we've got the card installed and we're at the beautiful resolution of whatever this is, 1024 or something like that. But installing the drivers here, uh, keep in mind that you want to get rid of the Trash Software Gaming Evolved. And once we've got these installed, we can go ahead and manage the fan speed settings in Wattman. All right, okay. Is it working? Yes. Okay, so here's what we've got for the test. The plan here is I've got a decibel meter. We already used this from a tripod mounted position. It did not move. It was pointed at the card. You can read about the test methodology, how far it was, uh, sensitivity, things like that in our test methodology for the review of the RX 480. So that was covered. And then uh, we've also got control of the fan through software. And I'm gonna be putting that through against the 1070 so you can compare the two and we'll have the decibel charts uh, on screen at some point for you if you wanna see the just pure decibels. But let's go and do the, uh, the subjective look at how it sounds. And we have to navigate this awful interface to get there. There's about five clicks too many to get to fan speed control. So once you arrive on this screen, uh, it will begin logging and showing so some of the performance metrics. This is our state stepping for some of the other stuff, but what we want is just the fan for today. So this can't be done through Afterburner as of yet, because uh, this is before the card was officially shipped, so there's no support yet. And here's the fan. So we've got our RPM here. If we switch this to manual control, you'll see these bars appear. And the maximum speed of this fan is 5,200 RPM. So that means our 50% uh, our speed will be 2,600 RPM. So let's go for the most extreme thing here and just tell it to run at 5,200 RPM. I haven't applied this yet. Now once this starts, here's another thing to keep in mind. So we have a sound recorder. We use that for capturing all the audio for our videos. And that recorder, we're attaching a stereo XY microphone to. We're mounting it to a tripod and pointing that mic at this card, at the fan. It'll be positioned 20 inches away, as our decibel meter was also positioned that distance during our decibel noise level collection. And putting the mic there will give you an idea of what this sounds like. We'll cut to that noise separately though. So here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to apply this setting and there it goes. So uh, it's much louder. As you can hear, the decibel levels for this, uh, first of all, this is a blower fan. That means all the air is pulled in. It gets pushed out the back. You can feel it coming out here and uh, there's actually cut out in the back of the cart as well where I believe it pulls some air in. <coughs> but the decibel level is at 100% speed. It's 65.6 decibels, and that compares against the R9290X reference, which was 69.4 decibels. So this, you can hear I'm raising my voice to talk over this. This is what 65.6 decibels sounds like. Uh, and then we'll just cut right here and show you without me talking what it sounds like compared against 50% and idle. So uh, another note, I've got this liquid cooler set to silent. The only noise it's really making is coming from the pump. 
can't even hear right now over this fan. These are the 120 millimeter case fans. You'll notice they are all unplugged and not doing anything. And that is because we're not doing thermal tests, we're doing noise tests, so don't want the extra noise. So all the noise comes from the power supply and the CPU cooler pump for the most part, and now the video card, which is overwhelming all of it. Decibel levels, uh, when you're reading decibel charts, it's logarithmic, so you can't do calculations, uh, just a normal subtraction to get a delta. It's a logarithmic formula, which we show on the site if you're curious about that. Now, if you want to see how hard this thing's pushing air, uh, I suppose there's a few different tests you can do. You can kind of do one of these. So that's a pretty good, let's bring it back here. So you can see it's flat or whatever you want to call it, vertical. Uh, let's do that. That's a good amount of air coming out of there. Of course, there's also the classic uh, photo shoot. <laughs> so there's our, there's our options. That is 100% speed. So let's turn this down to 50% speed. So 2600. Uh, I don't think I have to change both these values, but we're going to do it anyway. 2600 apply. Okay, all right. So now at 50%, uh, we are hitting 42.8 decibels. Let me get this chart out and we'll show it on the screen as well. So 42.8 decibels at 50% versus 65.6 decibels at 100%. And down at the auto setting, which is going to be uh, more closely resembling what you get in real world performance. The auto setting is collected after five minutes of real world gaming and it's pretty abusive gaming, so then we end up with this 39.4 decibel metric, and that is against idle of 37.3, so there's really no, no noticeable increase in, uh, in decibel levels for the video card between idle and auto when you're gaming. Now, one thing here, all of these numbers, if you notice the top of the chart says system noise levels, that's because this isn't just a noise level of only the fan, it's a noise level of the entire system. We don't have a good way to measure just the fan. So you have to factor in here the, the noise of power supply and other components, which is very low. These are pretty quiet components for a reason, but it's not zero. So that does mean there's some additive, logarithmic additive noise from these other components. And one other item to note is uh, when looking at noise levels, you also have to subtract out the room noise if it's known, we measure the room noise before every test. It's subtracted using that formula, and then we end up with these values. So these are already delta values versus the environment, which is about 25 decibels when there's nothing on whatsoever, including AC or HVAC. So that's the fan at 50% and at 100%. Let's bring it down here. Uh, I think the lowest value is probably 1,200. It will, it should, um, should force me to not go below there. Okay, so 1040, I've never seen it actually that low. If we put it on auto and apply, I think it'll go up to 12. Okay, so 1040 to 2200. So this is noticeably quieter to me. I don't know really how it picks up on, on the mic we're using right now, but uh, we will cut in some audio standalone of this just so you can hear it. So that's the idle noise levels. The next thing I'm gonna do is put this in. This is the reference or Founders Edition 1070. We've already published all of our noise charts for this in the 1070 review and in the RX 480 review, which again, linked in the description down below. So we'll look at this again. This time it will be a subjective test, which uh, there's objective measurements, there's decibel measurements as you've already seen, but the subjective part will help you actually compare what those decibel numbers mean in the real world, since it's kind of hard to understand otherwise. I'm not going to pass. Sip. I wonder why they changed their font. How does that meeting go? All right. Screw you, new version of Precision. I can't even close it.
Bring the camera over here. EVGA, please make the X work. Okay, all right, thank you, Jacob. Okay, all we're doing is change the fan speed. Same thing here, let's jump straight to 100% speed on the GTX 1070 Founders Edition card. Here we go. Takes a little longer to ramp into it, but not quite as loud. as the AMD's car, AMD card at 100% fan speed. And objectively, we have the numbers for you here. This is again tested with the proper noise setup, not how we have it right now for demonstration purposes. So at 100% speed, the Founders Edition card on this chart is going to be the dark blue line that's labeled GTX 1080 and 1070. That's at 57.2 decibels for 100% speed versus 65.6 for AMD's. Now, AMD's runs faster. It's at uh, 5,200 RPM, and this fan is running at... So AMD's fan runs at 5,200 RPM, and this one runs at about 4,000, more or less. So it is slower, obviously. That's why it's a bit quieter. Uh, they both are not great at cooling, as you've seen in our reviews of both these devices. As always, AIB partners do a much better job with cooling in general, as a kind of general sweeping rule. But that's what we got for 100% speed. Let's compare that to 50 and see the noise difference here. All right, so considerably quieter, of course. Fifty, again, is about what you'd be hearing in most gaming scenarios. Uh, cards do not really ramp up to 100% speed in the real world, and that's for a lot of reasons but you can configure it to 100% speed if you needed it for something like mining or whatever. So 50% speed, we're at 41.9 decibels, AMD is 42.8, basically the same. And uh, then the auto setting we've got as well, logged as 40.7 for NVIDIA and 39.4 on the other card. So that pretty much wraps up uh, the noise comparison. They are more or less the same at reasonable settings, it's only when you push to 100% that this thing becomes unbearably loud. But the use cases where a fan is at 100% are very limited uh, because they are normally, they use a custom fan profile that will generally prohibit ever reaching that speed. You'll start seeing system shutdowns and things like that from thermals if it doesn't get there, if it really needs to, but for gaming, you're never gonna be in that scenario. So uh, that's our quick subjective fan noise comparison thing. Check the review for the RX 480, and if you're interested in this one, the GTX 1070 on the channel and on the website gamersnexus.net. As always, if you like this type of content, Patreon link is in the post roll video. You can hit that to help us out. That looks very threatening. <laughs> hit the Patreon link. Articles linked below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.